Welcome back again! This is Teacher March. Today, we are going to discuss characteristics and uses of Simple Machine, Quarter 3, Module 3. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us have our objective. What do we need to know? First, identify the different types of Simple Machine and describe the characteristics of each. Explain the uses of simple machines and value the role of simple machines in our daily life. Now, what do you use when you cut paper, open a bottle, or slice a fruit? Very good! You use scissors in cutting paper and bottle opener and also a knife in slicing a fruit. Now, how do different materials you use help you? Yes! Those materials can make things easier for you. Those things that you are going to do may be much lighter when you use those materials. Let us discuss about simple machines. What is simple machines? These are devices that make your everyday task easier. They help you do your work with ease and comfort. Using this simple machine, it can lessen the amount of work that you would need to put into a job. Simple machines make our work easier every day. They are very useful to us, but they may cause harm or injury if not handled properly. Let us discuss the different types of simple machines. We have the lever, the wheel and axle, incline plane, wedge, screw, and pulley. These machines have a variety of functions, but the common thing about them, they make our task easier. Lever is a device consisting the fixed movable point called the fulcrum, a force that lifts the load called effort, and the force lifted by the effort called load. Lever make it easier to lift heavy materials, remove light objects, and cut items. Now, I have here some examples of a lever. Wedge is a double inclined plane that is sharpened to an end. It can be used to separate two objects or portions of an object, lift an object, or hold an object in place. The thinner the wedge is the lesser effort is needed to cut objects. Here are examples of wedge. Fork knife, peeler, nail, pin, and needle. Wheel and axle. It is a machine that has a small disc or shaft called an axle that is attached to a wheel. It is a type of lever that moves in a circle around a fulcrum. Here are some examples of wheel and axle. Electric fan, doorknob, wheelbarrow, and pushcart. So what is an inclined plane? It is a flat surface with one end higher than the other. It allows for heavy objects to slide up to a higher point rather than be lifted. It has a sloping surface used to lift an object. Lifting the object using an inclined plane means you use less force to do work. Some examples of inclined plane are ladder, stairs, slanted roof, ramp, and slide. Types of simple machines is a screw. A screw is actually a spiral inclined plane. It is composed of a cylindrical body with a spiral ridge called thread, and the distance each thread is referred to as pitch. Now here are some examples of a screw. Jar lid, light bulb, bottle cups, and faucet. Now let us have the definition of pulley. Pulleys consist of a string or rope wrapped around a wheel with one end of the string attached to an object and the other end attached to a person or a motor. A pulley is used to lift something up, especially to lift the heavy objects. Example of pulley are window blinds, flag poles, zip line, and cranes. We have the general types of pulley. We have the effort, which is a part of pulley where the force is applied, and the load, which is the object 
which being applied by the force exerted. Those are the different types of simple machines. Again, what are the different types of simple machines? Yes, we have the pulley, lever, wedge, wheel and axle, incline plane, and screw. We all know the different types of simple machines and what is a simple machine. Now let us try this one. But before that, everybody, get your notebook and ball pen. I will give you 5 seconds for each picture to name what kind of simple machine shown. Let's begin! For our picture number 1, identify or name the simple machine. Okay, time's up. What's your answer? Very good! This is an example of an inclined plane. Identify the picture. Begin. What simple machine is this? Very good. This is a screw. Okay, another one. Another picture. Okay, what is this simple machine representing this picture? Yes, very good. This is an example of a wheel and axle. Next picture. Okay, can you name this simple machine? Okay, what's your answer? Very good. It is a wedge. Our last picture. Name the simple machine. Okay, time's up. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is lever. Always remember that simple machines are devices that makes your everyday task easier. They help you do your work with ease and comfort. This is Teacher March. I hope that you learned a lot from me today saying goodbye. See ya!